Hi, this is Colleen Richardson with Bedford Community Television. Today we are down at Pulpit Rock in Bedford doing a overview of a training exercise with the Bedford Fire Department. Right now I'm with firefighter AEMT Jake Nutter. Hi Jake. Hi Colleen, how are you? Great, how are you? I'm great. So we are out here because you guys do this training. Now how often do you train? We train on this uh, there's no, there's no annual training for it. We, we will get out and use the stuff when we can, but uh, this was a scheduled training for shift three that we wanted to offer for the rest of the department for us to get out here, become familiar with the trails, and use the equipment that we're gonna deploy in a, in a call uh, out here. And so the point of the training was just to get everyone familiar with how to help someone when they get lost or injured out on the trails, correct? Yeah, sure. We had a couple couple portions of this training. Um, there was a search and rescue aspect. There is um, the lost and injured hiker aspect. And then there's the operations aspect from what we do here at Bedford Fire, um, how we manage this uh, scenario, and uh, how to efficiently get a person um, out of where they are uh, safely. So we were out there actually filming some of the training with you guys and you actually got a real call with a real emergency. Tell us what happened. Yeah, uh, so there was a couple and their son out hiking today, um, and the uh, one of the people uh, fell and uh, they broke their ankle or sprained their ankle, um, and she was unable to continue on. Um, she was in a lot of pain, so as we were finishing up our training, extricating our victim, um, we diverted to the scene um, where they were located at the uh, bottom of the ravine trail uh, in which we used the equipment we had to get that actual patient out. So you guys had set up scenarios but you actually had a real scenario that turned out to be everything that you really wanted to train for today, correct? Correct, yeah. It was, uh, you know, we had a lot of manpower here today which we wouldn't normally have with the staffing uh, we have a Bedford Fire. Normally, if this call comes in, we're, we're lucky to get uh, five or six people here. Today, we had everybody that was in the training, which so that was that exceeded uh, 10 to 12 people. Um, so we had a lot of hands, um, and it, where she was found would have made that very difficult for the four or five people on the normal duty crew to extricate her. So we were very lucky today to have uh, the, a lot of the department here already to help extricate her out. Yes, she was really lucky. We got to see the whole rescue um, in action and you guys did an excellent job working together, planning it all. I mean, it was very impressive and that's what your training does and it shows how it, it really is successful. So thank you, Jake. Thank you. Folks. Appreciate it. Thank you. This was really um, exciting. I feel bad for the woman, but I think she's going to be okay. You guys did an excellent job helping her out. And so tell us a little bit about what hikers should do so that they can avoid these situations or if they find themselves in these situations, how do they get the help and get you guys to help them? Okay. Well, ideally, uh, anybody who is going to embark on any type of hiking expedition uh, should do a little research about where they're going to go. We've been fortunate with the pulpit recreation area that um, there's an Eagle Scout here in town named Mitch Soderberg who went through and marked all of the trails, updated all the trail markers, has, has uh, created maps for the public to use, uh, which I believe are available online. And they're posted at uh, the entrance to the trails in, in the main parking area, as well as uh, partway through the trails at the actual pulpit rock uh, location. But doing that research uh, helps people to prepare for being out in the wilderness, whether it's a day hike, whether it's a weekend hike, whether it's going through the Pulpit Rock area, whether it's going through the White Mountains, the Adirondack Trail, or any of those types of situations. Uh, we were very fortunate to have um, 
uh, Lieutenant Morse with New Hampshire Fish and Game participate in our training this morning uh, and gave us a lot of uh, educational knowledge about about doing searches and about why hikers uh, get lost or, or what gets them into these situations. And a lot of it has to do with them not being prepared for the type of environment or the type of day or the type of weather that they're going into. Uh, so besides knowing where you're gonna go, the time of year can have a, a lot of, um, throw a lot of changes into things as far as the weather, as far as when the, when the daylight comes and when it goes, you know, some days longer than others, um, but weather especially in New Hampshire can change at a moment's notice so knowing and preparing for those types of changes is going to make you uh, more prepared for being out in the environment if an emergency does occur. Um, this area that we had out here with the pulpit um, is not very technology friendly so cell service is very sketchy very spotty uh, you may have to if you are hurt and you're with somebody else you may have to move to another location before you actually get cell service to, f to call uh, knowing where the trail markers are and what, what information to give our dispatchers is very important. Uh, we learned today that um, you can go into Google Maps and drop pins of locations which you can then give to the dispatch and they can give to us to help you find, uh, help find you a lot easier. Unfortunately that only works if you have cell service. So um, and we found out today that the differences between some of the different phone platforms makes the pins not quite as reliable but it gives us a, a general knowledge of the area of where you're going to be. Well, thank you so much for inviting us to be part of this today. It was certainly more than what we both expected, so George and I are very grateful, and we, we got our workout in today too, walking around. We were not prepared. We thought it was gonna be a short hike, but we survived, and- I got more than my steps in today. And yeah, exactly, but thanks so much, appreciate it. You're very welcome, and thank you for being a part of this. Absolutely.